Today, I want to discuss about uh, one of the common mistakes many people make. Um, people make bonsai like this when they're actually wanting to make something like this. So if you want to make a cute little bonsai like this, or you want to make a humongous one uh, that's bigger than this, there is a total different path that you have to follow. And if you mix the techniques, you won't get the results you want. That's what the subject of today's uh, video is. What's unique about today's presentation is they're the both the same age. I started with uh, cutting like this. So both of these were started as a cutting, just like this. So from the cutting like this, I made this one and this one. And they're the same age. Now, my memory is not all that great, but it's about 12 to 15 years ago. But I distinctly remember uh, wanting to do this demo. And it has taken me all this time to do it. Uh, but anyway, it started with the same size cutting at the same time. So like I said, it started as a cutting from the cutting bed, right? And we had a video on how that's done. And then, but on the larger one, what I did was instead of uh, starting to shape in a four inch and so on, I went directly into a one gallon, okay? So it stayed in there for a year or two years. And then by the time we got to the five gallon, I started to put some movement on the trunk. But the most unique part, or the part that made the biggest difference, is putting it into a 15 gallon right here. But while it was in the 15, it already had the movement in the trunk. So what happens is your main line is always in place, but it grows wild. It just goes all over the place to the point where you can't even see what the original structure was. In fact, uh, it stays so long in that one spot, the, the roots came out of the drain hole and it grew into the ground. And so now we're using the growth of the 15 gallon, but also the growth of being in the ground. So it got very large rather quickly. Okay, so as we kind of flash back and look at what it looked like when it was still growing wild uh, without me pruning, and then now you take a look at this, this was always in that tangled mess because I had uh, pre-trained it. This will take a good five years before it will have uh, good refinement and uh, more of a bonsai rather than a This one here in five years will always be better in terms of the refinement but it will never have that trunk. So this one on the left will never catch up to get a trunk like that. So that's what you gotta do is think about what you want for the future. And you have to take the path accordingly. So hopefully you got something out of this session and that uh, you will keep checking my website, masteryo.com. So this is Hiro Matsuda saying goodbye, and I'll see you again real soon.